G'day there. I'm Mike Dickerson. I'm a Wikipedian at large. We don't know actually what that means. I tried to create it in Wikipedia. It says this article does not exist. Would you like to create it? Um, I have to say I made it up for the grant from the Wikimedia Foundation, which is uh, paying me to spend a year working with institutions the length of New Zealand to try to encourage them to engage more with Wikipedia and to help communities contribute better to the online encyclopedia. So I'm about four and a bit months into this work and I have seven things that I would like to share with you that I found interesting, something, things I hadn't expected, things that would actually be useful to you because after all, what's the use of a conference talk if it doesn't bring something useful to you and you and you? Let's get into it. This is the first response I got from all institutions without exception, <laughs> when I approached them about being a temporary Wikipedian in residence. And you can insert your own sighing gif if you like. Uh, it was really quite telling that their first reaction was that what can we do about our own institutional Wikipedia article? Uh, because they obviously felt that this was the number one priority for their, for their mission. And as we saw Adam's talk earlier on, the institutional mission statements, and forgive me if yours is different, do not specify the purpose of increasing um, branding awareness and sending clicks to the website. They are about outreach and engaging with the public. So this is never the primary purpose of a Wikipedian in residence. My job is more to engage institutions, encourage them to start thinking about how they can unlock their resources and how they can work more closely with the Wikipedia community out there who are keen volunteers who want to work with them and help them. So there was that first conversation to get through. Hopefully now you guys will not ask me that question if I ever work with you. Thank you. Um, museums put on exhibitions. Um, and when I arrived at Auckland Museum, a secret world of butterflies had just opened, centered on the amazing butterfly collections of Ray Shannon, who possibly had the largest private butterfly collection in New Zealand and donated it all to the Auckland Museum. It's beautiful, it's amazing, it's wonderful, uh, but there was no information about Ray Shannon on Wikipedia, so I created a page straight away. Uh, and I was you know, it was very difficult because it was tricky to track down some of the images and get clearance for copyright and so forth. And it would have been a lot easier if during the research and writing process of this exhibition, someone had thought to, you know, at the same time, create all that Wikipedia content. Since you're already researching and writing those labels anyway, why not simultaneously put the information into Wikipedia as well? Uh, so it seems like this should be built into the process for uh, galleries, libraries, museums. When you're creating resources, simultaneously make sure there's Wikipedia content. Volunteers are there in their thousands and they are keen to help and the way to mot motivate them is to propose a community event that focuses on injustice or inequality or unfairness. So that, that seems to mobilise people remarkably well. And there's no shortage of topics. The presence of New Zealand alone in Wikipedia is deplorable. It's, uh, the presence of women in the encyclopedia is really poor. There's a real gender bias in editors. Uh, we organised, well, I, I helped run and some locals organised four workshops just now in Wellington. And you'll notice what's really great about this is you can see the composition of the brand new editors who are all coming along to take part in these, which is absolutely wonderful. If we can convert even some of these into long-term editors, they'll make a big difference to the Wikipedia community in New Zealand. I organised a bulk upload at Auckland Museum. If you do an upload of thousands of images, uh, you need to have a strategy to go with that. Write a press release, tie it into some sort of exhibit, make sure those images get pushed onto Wikipedia articles so people can see them and use them. Even organise a public event or a volunteer occasion to celebrate the fact that all of this wonderful stuff is now there for people to use. Put them on merchandise, they're all released under a perfect, the uh, commercial use is perfectly okay. If you don't have the time to put them on merchandise, encourage other people to put them on merchandise and sell them in the museum shop. You know, There are plenty of people who are willing to help you with this. 
Um, I, my, my biggest reward with doing the Ray, uh, Des Helmore photos is that Des himself, who's 78 now, wrote to me and after decades or so of not seeing these images, he was able to browse them all in commons now. And that to me means as much as anything else. But no one really understands Creative Commons. Every institution I talk to, a uh, number of people who understand it, and the number one problem, of course, the impediment to getting stuff into Wikipedia is the non-commercial license. Uh, if you, as an institution, want to do anything to engage with Wikipedia, this is the first thing you can do, is find a way to drop that. Yes, you all have reasons why you have it. Yes, I have heard them all. No, they are not very good reasons. I'll s <laughs> I've just saved you some time. You're going to hear from a stuff in a second about why Wikidata is the cool thing. It's the cool thing. If you're not aware of Wikidata, get aware of it. If you're starting to play with it, start taking it seriously. Um, I'm about to head off to Invercargill to put the entire species, Kakapo, into Wikidata. Every individual of that species will now have a Wikidata item. I don't think anyone's done this before. I'm really curious to see what happens when Felix actually has um, his own Wikidata identity. So we're doing all sorts of great things with Wikidata in New Zealand. We could be world leaders in this space if we tried. And one thing I really found is that if you want to seriously get on board with Wikipedia, it takes three things. It takes a, a little bit of time. I think six months is about right with an embedded Wikipedian to uh, start to get some momentum going in the institution. You need internal champions at at least a couple of levels who will continue to campaign and push for the institution. And you need leadership that believes that being in the Wikipedia space is important. You must have all of those three things. I now ask those questions of anyone that wants to work with me. And if they can't supply all three, no. What's coming up? Very briefly, Asaf has got a workshop on Wikidata on Friday. Come along. Um, we have got a wiki brunch coming on Saturday if you want to meet Asaf and ask more questions down at Scopa. We've got another Wikipedia editing event coming up on Wednesday the 28th, 125th anniversary of the first suffrage election. Uh, please come along, hosted Internet New Zealand. I'd like to see you there. And we're starting at this conference, a Wikipedia Aotearoa user group, the first one for New Zealand. So I'd love to have you guys all join up. Come talk to me or Siobhan. Right, thank you very much.